Hey folks, Jonathan here. Alright, another day. We're going to see what we can get done on this uh, Roadster pickup. And I just wanted to address a couple things before we get started. Uh, hmm. Got a cat rolling around. But uh, mainly one of them is a frame. Um, okay, the deal on the frame. I don't know how it is in your area, but I would bet I know where there's... 20 frames to every one body and maybe more I mean there is people that have these things stacked up like firewood and unfortunately and I say unfortunately because what's happening now is people are pulling the bodies and they're they're making the the frames and these frames here are usually getting junked or they're buying running driving cars and then pulling the bodies off and then offering to sell the frames with the running gear and the engine transmission and stuff. Uh, so I see them all the time. They're cheap. They're easy to find. Uh, I do not feel one bit bad about cutting this frame up because if I didn't get this frame, it would have rotted away. I mean, and if I don't use it, it's going to rot away. But I want to use it because I like the front cross member. I like the frame horns on the front. Uh, you know different things about it cross members nice and uh, so we're going to use parts of it if you need a frame like this let me know I can put you in touch with people that got that's got plenty of them okay front end rear end options one thing I've got right here is a 54 Ford truck front end and a 54 Ford truck rear end uh, drop axle it's made for parallel leaves and I really don't want to use that. The mother rears are two Chevrolets. Uh, what is that rear? Okay, we got another eight inch Ford rear. Small bolt pattern, that would work. Uh, I mean, that, that could possibly be, that's another like 68 Mustang rear end. That could work under the back. Be small bolt pattern, but that would, I've got two other front ends we're gonna look at that, that are uh, small bolt Ford pattern. Let's look at that. Okay, here's one. Not sure what year it is. I mean, it's made like an A, but it's a drop axle. Uh, don't drop real far, but it's got Volvo or Jaguar. Now, they use them on both cars, but early style disc brakes. Uh, the only bad thing about this, I really don't, I mean, disc brakes are not that important to me. Uh, I don't mind drum brakes. The only thing about this is the calipers for this are very, very expensive. And $150 a piece. I mean, you're looking at $300 just to, to make the brakes work on this axle. Unless I change up to a different style. Uh, different style or uh, caliper. But otherwise, let me see, we're missing a... We don't have a steering arm. I have to build a steering arm for it. Let's see where it loaded at. Hold on just a minute. Yeah, we would have to fabricate a steering arm for it. I'm not quite sure how they had it set up. But, uh, definitely have to build one. But the, but the one I really want to use, or, you know, I, I had planned on using, is in the 36 Plymouth. It's going to be a round tube. Should be a drop and uh we're gonna go out back and take a look at it see if it's worth taking the time to pull it out okay hopefully you can see the uh plymouth front you can see it's drop i kind of like it i like the way it's built be easy to work with there's a steering arm mm -hmm. so might even be able to use the steering box off this. I've got another box I was going to use, but I'll have to check this one out. But this looks like it would be an easy setup. And we can either, we can price the brakes out and either redo the brakes that are on it or, you know, swap it over to something different. But I'm definitely liking it. So, anyway, I think this is the one we're going to use. Uh, a little bit different, you know, being around too. And uh, 
looks to be in really good shape so I think this is the one okay here's another option for a rear end that's got the small four bolt pattern and it is a hmm, Ford Granada 1975-76 that would be a pretty easy one to mess with we may do a measurement and maybe use whichever one's the narrowest and I don't know what this rear is it's not 8.8 .8, it's some oddball my understanding is that it is some oddball rear end that they didn't use long or was a transition rear end from maybe the 8 or 9 inch to the 8.8 uh, .8. .8. but I mean it's got a good size hawk head on it it's not no it don't look like it's a slouch anyway but I don't mean it's not but I don't mean it is either so uh, anyway it'd be easy to get brake parts for this and like I said you know small bolt pattern forward so it would match our front so I think that's what we we'll use if it's not real wide we're gonna see which one's narrowest between the 68 Mustang and the Granada they're probably about the same though okay so inside of back and plate the inside of back and plate on the, the 8 inch forward out of the Mustang was about 52 inches so let me see what this one is okay this rear is 50 inches so this one's actually narrower which is what I really want so this is the rear we're going to use for Grenada I mean Granada you know you really start realizing how much stuff costs when you start buying it piece by piece uh, I decided I was going to price some radius rods and leaf spring and brackets and pieces for uh, you know the shackles and everything for a model way front end and even the bolt on with the u-bolts to bolt it to the to the uh, cross member the stuff is just stupid stupid priced uh, you know I could put hundreds of dollars easily just in the front end using my own axle I mean it's just kind of crazy so we're gonna definitely be doing some fabricating uh, making some stuff I don't know you know how we're gonna go about it or what we're gonna do but uh, I can buy or make some weld in bungs and come up with a uh, like a trailer spring or something the right width and uh, we'll work with it we're gonna have a heavy engine anyway so you know we might have to do a little playing to get the weight right but anyway uh, yeah a lot of it we're going to end up making for sure and we'll make some brackets to bolt on to that axle possibly probably where the where the original leaves bolted but this axle here is just not a drop this is just straight across but anyway all right let me uh get it something anyway quit complaining right you know I was looking for something to fill that hole on this model a grill shell I, mean, I had no clue but evidently uh Ford and Pepsi must have been working together on this okay so I think we're going to take a break on the bed here uh, it's been fun but not that fun so I'm going to go ahead and cap the top of these and maybe get started on a door jam to run down all the way in and then we can end up closing some of this in but definitely need that support on here to support this and that'll uh, start tying everything together good so, all right let me get at it and see what we can figure out okay folks a uh, little change in plans I bent up two of these pieces I cut out and made we was gonna stick them in here and you know cut out and weld them in do everything we needed to do and I got looking I said well I don't like the turn on that I don't like the edge of this uh, it just looks boxed and straight and that's what I was trying to stay away from you know I wanted a little bit of a radius so it didn't look like it was you know I don't know an afterthought I guess so I was looking at the doors and I got an idea so let me lay this up here and show you what I thought about so take this uh some trimming and some work make this the top so it's gonna have this lip around it it's gonna have a curve here and this and come halfway down and then we'll use the other one and come the other halfway down 
and then we'll make this go over top and this will actually look like somebody was actually you know it was actually made as a roadster or it was made as a an original car and not something that somebody hacked up in their in front of their shop in their driveway which is really what happened but we won't tell nobody so let me get some cutting done on this and the other one well, I keep these parts around Let's see that goes over halfway so it shouldn't be a problem I think it's gonna work out good be a lot nicer than what it was going to initially be without which is running it straight all right all right we're trimming and bending and it's getting there it's gonna look really good <clears throat> get this rounded get welded in cut off and the other one put on this is painted that make the, it really easy to get the interior up to it and just leave this body line there and then uh, here where it sticks out we can trim it and V it in now the top of this door is going to be cut off some the other one's already been cut off shorter but anyway it's going to work out really nice all right let me get it uh, a few more things done we got some small arms fire bullet holes there from something and uh, if I can get it tacked and get it rounded here and get a little bit of welding done on it, I think it'll really start to come together and look good. Yeah, I think it's going to be all right. Okay, folks, she's coming along. Look all right when I'm done. I'm liking it. I think it's going to definitely make it look more like it should look. So better than just flat because it just didn't look that good so we'll get all this welded up and get it done and uh, we're going to do the door jams get them finished up and uh, go from there alright okay so here's what we're doing to make our door jams I cut out a piece put a 90 on it that'll strengthen it up good and actually sit it in here and let it sit there and I actually marked it from the outside with an ink pen or with a uh, marker so now what we're going to do is cut just a little bit inside the line of this of the exact shape of what you see here and we should be able to fit it inside and that'll give us a, a good door jam and this is like uh, I don't know what gauge it is it's at least 16 it may be 14 I don't know but we'll have to bend this down get it out of the way but weld that a little bit more. I just got that all tacked in. But it's getting there. It's getting really good and solid. And that's what we're wanting. And uh, we'll connect that up to our piece here. And it uh, should work out really well. All right. All right, folks. Another piece to the puzzle here. Get her in. Fit it in place and get her welded in. But it's going to work really well. All right, folks. We got this one on. Looks pretty good. We can weld it all in, grind it, and it looks like it's supposed to be there. Looks real good with the uh, body panel. We still had not welded up the uh, extra hole there. So anyway, that'll make a good one. That's heavier steel, so we'll be able to cut out for our uh, latch. And I got lucky the latches are in here. And they're actually good. They just need freed up, and then we just need to get some handles for it. And so I'll buy a set of handles. But like I said, we still got to trim this off and cap this top of the door, but it's coming along pretty good, pretty quick. So this is a really good, easy transition. This is actually better than the the roaster transition. So I don't think I'll have any issues uh, making this look decent uh, over the other one. And I'll show you how the other one, how the door shut and everything on it. I don't know if everybody had seen that. Got bear claw latches on this one. This was what was already on these doors when this body was on well the doors was hooked to a different body how about that that goofy body with the uh 69 camaro hood and the side panels off an a so uh open closed really good really easy same way with the other side 
no problem. Uh, worked out really well. So we can make these ones do the same thing. Okay, but it's got a little bit more welding and grinding done on it, but not much. But okay, something I wanted to say. Uh, the bed. You know, I had a couple people say something about you know the height of it. It's because it's short and all that, but uh, that goes right back to if you haven't looked, go look at the Happy Days Roadster. Ralph Mouth uh, was the one that was supposed to have it in the movie, but or in the TV show. But uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. This bed will be raised up probably to here. Well, the one that is on uh, Happy Days, it's going to 32 frames, so the frames all the way to the outside, and we're not going to run it that way. Uh, 32 frames. You know, just for the rails, they're eight hundred dollars or something. We're not, we're not gonna play that game. But uh, anyway, I like the way this is turning out. Uh, looks a little better like this than it would have with the. Well, it looks a lot better than it would have with just the flat pieces. And uh, I kind of got lucky because this piece here actually hooked around the piece that was already there and then slid down over top. So it was almost like it was made for it. And, uh, you know, I got to do a little hammering here and there to get everything straight, but it's not bad at all. And I got a brand new set of hammers anyway, so we can hammer away. But, uh, anyway, didn't get a lot done today, that's for sure. But we did, you know, get this, get that on and get one panel done. That was uh, better than getting nothing done, right? So, uh, hopefully back at it tomorrow. We'll see how busy we are. Uh, still got, like I said, a lot of welding, a lot of grinding to do. And uh, you can see the transition on the inside. So I can just make some, I don't know, make some panels or something to put in there. However, it don't matter. We're going to, we'll end up doing the upholstery on this one too. So uh, coming along nice though. All right. Well, uh, can't think of anything else. Anything I forgot. Uh, oh, I know what I was going to say. The, the daggone bread, you know. Well, first off, the guy did not get hurt. I mean, so everybody will know. Uh, second, uh, they, I've tried everything I could try to get be able to get that bread and donate it. And they're just going to let it rot. They're just going to let it mold, go bad. Uh, they don't care. And they was, it had just not long had started the route, so they've still got plenty of bread on the truck. Uh, there's every kind of bread you can think of, plus cakes and stuff, but... It's just a shame because, you know, there's people that could use that stuff. And uh, I don't know. You know, I, I tried today and, and you know, it's, they just said that they're going to write it off. And they're just, they just don't want to have anything to do with trying to help anybody out. So that's just the way it is, I guess. You know, you get a lot of stingy people in the world. And, and uh, you know, it's a shame that they can't turn a... You know, a misfortune into something that would be fortunate for a lot of other people, and uh, especially in these times, this is a this is a bad time for for all this stuff going on. But anyway, uh, you know, tomorrow will be the third day, so that you know the stuff's not going to last long. So. so, but anyway, I did try. I just wish I could have done something, but it just didn't work out. So, all right, appreciate everybody watching, and. Uh, until next time, bye.